Most of the price increases we've seen are were expected and, and are expected to be temporary. I don't know anybody, including Larry Summers, who's a friend of mine, yeah. who's worried about inflation. Talk of inflation. The overwhelming consensus is going to pop up a little bit and then go back down. No one's talking about this great, great deal. You know. It's un highly unlikely that it's going to be long-term inflation that's going to get out of hand. There's nobody suggesting there's unchecked inflation on the way. Take any responsibility for the inflation in this country? Do you take any responsibility for your policies? I, I think our policies help, not hurt. Think about what they say. The vast majority of the of the uh, uh, of the economists think that this is going to be a real tough problem to solve. But it's not because of spending. So the question, once again, is it stupid or a liar? How could somebody like me, and you can check in my video catalog, I have innumerable number of videos stating that inflation is going to be coming. How is it that I'm smarter and have greater foresight than the U.S. Treasury Secretary. Got it wrong a year or so ago. I want to play for you what you said about inflation last year. Listen to this. Is there a risk of inflation? Um, I, I think there's a small risk and I think it's manageable. I don't anticipate that inflation is going to be a problem, but it is something that we're watching very carefully. Is it that I'm smarter or is it that she's lying? Is she as intelligent as I am? That's an open question for debate. <laughs> but she definitely got this one wrong and she's admitted it. So are they lying to you? You cannot print up tons and tons of money, throw it into the air and expect that which has already been existence not to be devalued. If I have a monopoly board and you're getting $200 to pass go every time, and suddenly the game becomes flooded with millions of dollars for each player, does that $200 have any meaning anymore with all the free money falling out of the sky? Make it rain, baby! Because that's what the U.S. government has done. And the fact that they gaslighted you and told you that inflation would not be arriving was an absolute abject lie, or they are incredibly stupid. And every single Bitcoiner on the internet, like myself, who said, you can't print money without getting inflation. I don't know. They've tried an innumerable number of countries, and it never seemed to work out for them, whether that be Venezuela, Argentina, Brazil, Zimbabwe, where you have a $100 trillion bill that is worth zero. Money is only worth what it can purchase, and the true wealth of a society are the goods and value, goods and services that are produced. Money is just an exchange that represents a crystallized form of energy that we use to pay for such commodities. But to say that you weren't going to have any inflation, ha ha ha! Why do we listen to these people? Why do you continue to listen to CNN when every single time they're being proven wrong? Whether it's about the fine people hoax, the Covington kids, Juicy Smollier, or today, inflation. They get everything wrong and yet we still hold them with any esteem is beyond me. Inflation is going to persist. And I recommend that you get into Bitcoin, which has a fixed and limited supply and it will become a new global medium of exchange and already is. Not financial advice, just a thought for you guys so I don't get sued. <laughs> but I'm smarter than Janet Yellen, I'm smarter than Joe Biden, but that doesn't take a lot because you are too. So make sure to thumb up this video, subscribe, and share the video with a friend. Hit the all notification bell if you subscribe. Peace, leave your thoughts below in the comments.